Okay, today I'm gonna to show you a quick demonstration on how to calibrate your US 1011 indicator. So before we get started first, what we're gonna to wanna to use is some calibration weights to calibrate. We recommend using at least 10% of the max capacity in calibration weights to calibrate your scale. So for instance, if you have a 5,000 pound scale, the best practice is to use at least 500 pounds, which would be 10%. For this demo, we're gonna keep it easy and we're just gonna do 100 pounds. So to start, in order to get into the calibration, first we wanna turn over the display. And here on the back, you're gonna see this cover that we wanna to use to take off. So you may have a lead seal there. You'll just break that lead seal. Pop off the back cover. And here you'll see there's a button there that needs to be pressed and held down while you turn on the display and continue to hold that till you see the F1 parameter setting. If done correctly, you'll be in the first step of the calibration. So I use an Allen wrench, basically. All right, so I'm holding it down. All right, so if it went to zero, you did it incorrect, and you'll just have to redo it by pressing that button down to get into F1. So you'll see the different keys here. You got arrows for left, right, up, down, and your print button is going to be your enter button. So we'll hit print to confirm. So F1.1, we'll hit print. This is where we're gonna set the capacity of the scale. So for instance, this is a 5,000 pound scale, but if it was like a 300 pound, we'd use the gross button to toggle to the right. We'll change this to zero. And then we would go over here, change it to 300, and then we would hit print to enter. But I'm gonna change it back to 5,000 for this demonstration. All right, then we'll hit the print button to confirm. Then we're gonna hit the zero button to go up to the next F1.2 and hit print. This is gonna be the decimal places that we want. So in this case, we are gonna have whole numbers for this scale. But if you had another type of scale, you could press this up button and you could add an extra decimal place, two, three, four. So we're gonna keep it at whole numbers and we're gonna hit print. Then we're gonna hit the zero button to go up to F1.3 and we're gonna hit the print button. All right, this is gonna be the increments of scale counting. So this is one pound increments, two, five, 10, 20, 50. We're gonna leave it at one for this floor scale and hit print to confirm. Then we're gonna hit the zero button to go up to F14 and hit print to confirm. Now this is if we wanna calibrate the scale in pounds, which is one, zero would be kilograms. I'm gonna switch it back to pounds. And I'm gonna hit the print button. All right, next we'll hit zero to go up to F15 and hit print. This is going to be the gravitational field. You don't need to make any changes here. You can leave that as is and hit the print button. All right, F15, we're gonna hit zero to go up to F16. Now this is gonna be what we call our zero point calibration. So we wanna make sure that there's nothing on this scale platform, it's completely empty. Once it's empty, we'll go ahead and hit the print button and it's gonna do a countdown to zero. All right, then we're gonna hit the zero button. We're gonna go up to F17, we're gonna hit print. This is where we're gonna load our weight. So we'll hit print to confirm. And here we're gonna enter in our known calibration weight. So we're gonna use 100 pounds today. So I'm gonna use the gross button to move over to the right. Then I'm gonna use the zero button to go up one. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and load those weights onto the scale. Okay, now that they're loaded on, we're gonna go ahead and hit the print button. It'll do another countdown to zero. Now your calibration is complete. So to go ahead and exit from the parameter settings, we're gonna to wanna to hit this hold button in order to enter. Do not hit the print button because that will turn the display off and that will reset the whole calibration. So we'll hit the hold button once, hold button again. And if done correctly, you should be able to see the known weight of 100 pounds on your scale. That's how you calibrate the indicator. Now, if the, at the last step for F17, when you load those weights on the scale, if you got some type of error message, like an error six, that means you're not using enough calibration weight. 
So in that case, you just wanna go ahead and make sure that you obtain more weight to put on your scale to calibrate it. If you have any questions going through the calibration, you're welcome to call our office. We're happy to speak with you over the phone. Our direct line is 800-711-2237. And you can also email us sales at usamesurements.com. Thank you for watching.